Hi all, welcome to STEM channel. My name is Atvik, standing here to show my friends demonstrate a grammar video. In our daily routine, we come across many situations where we use either, neither, rather than, etc. Correlative conjunctions. I mean, co-relative conjunctions. Let us see the different usages of these conjunctions. First, when and how to use either and or. Usage number one. Always our parents have a complaint on us. That is... Hey Abiram, what's up man? I'm fine, what about you? I'm fine. Nowadays, I observed that you are watch either watching TV or using mobile. When do you study? I'll study, but when will you return my book? Either I'll come by myself or I'll send someone to return it. In this sentence, I will is repeated two times. If you wish, you can make the sentence short. It. Either I'll come by myself or send it with someone. Till now, in the sentences, we are talking about the situations or any one of the one. Now, we will see how to speak about two peoples or two things. Hey, Atpi, have you seen the Nakar? Either Chetan or Dinkar is in the house. You may get it out should the verb be singular or plural. It should be singular. Or else do this. Read the sentence which confuses you the most. And you know, imagine only that as the whole sentence. Then you'll get the correct form of the verb. Atvik, tell me the truth for God's sake. We are yes, saying the, the truth. truth. Either Abiram or you are lying. In this second sentence also, following the same trick, observe the last part of the sentence. That is, you is the subject and the verb comes according to the subject. That is, you are lying. Either Abiram or you are lying. You had been to a washroom in a mall and there are n number of washrooms and there is no specific mention for female and male the usage is you can use anything now let's see what to do gosh here i have so many washrooms what should i use sir you can use any washroom or any of the washrooms as we have many washrooms you can use any of them when you have two washrooms and you can use any one of the two what should you use here I have only two washrooms without any specification for male or female. What should I use? You can use either washroom. You can use either of the washrooms or either of the washrooms is not in use. Here you must have been noticed either of the washrooms are not in use. Why did we use is with washrooms as they are plural? Because either represents any one of the two, not the two washrooms. Hey. I like your handwriting. I too like your handwriting. Thank you. But I don't like your handwriting. Really? I too don't like your handwriting. What is the right way to say the sentence? I don't like your handwriting either. <laughs> I also don't like your handwriting. Or I too don't like your handwriting. Both are grammatically incorrect. You should use either at the end of the sentence. In English language, we come across with the correlative conjunctions, that means correlative conjunctions and its usage like either or, neither nor and rather than, etc. In fact, this is the easiest topic, however, most of us make grammatical errors while using this in terms of subject and verb agreement. So, the students of STEM school demonstrated in an innovative way to simplify the complex topic as there is a saying one picture is equal to thousand words one demonstration is equal to hundred explanations 